Hey, it's Simon here, and today we are in Burkina Faso, West Africa. It's me and a guy named Sean Hotley of Boom Reactive out of St. Louis, and we are talking about gear that we're using for this project in Burkina Faso. Um, we're documenting some clean water efforts being done, and we are out in remote air villages and needed to have some redundancy, so we're going to kind of walk through everything. Um, we're also dealing with 100 degree heat, so being able to set gear down and let it cool off has been a huge thing. We're doing both photo and video, so our main video camera is the Sony FS5, and we're just using the kit 18 to 105 lens, and that's a fantastic little setup that lets me be nimble, and I do almost a DIY easy rig that lets me be able to keep it at a normal height because I'm too tall to really shoulder mount. Um, it lets me keep it at a nice normal height, but stable and comfortable. Um, on that, we've got the Sennheiser G3 wireless kit, and then we've got the Rode NTG4 Plus on top of that for sound, and then I've got my nice DIY duct tape uh, sunshade, which has been really, really helpful, but also I don't care about it. So it easily folds up, and I don't care if it gets damaged in the car and that kind of thing. Um, great little setup, because I can leave this kitted out pretty much the entire time, and then I can roll with it whenever we need to. Um, super, super helpful. Then we're rolling over onto the back of our Land Cruiser tailgate. This is uh, really what we're using for most of it. Um, we've got two F-stop Ajnas going on, and the Ajnas are great because they are small, so we can carry them on, but they're flexible. We also have a Think Tank Airport International roller bag that is staying at our home base that has our backup drone, backup camera, and some other redundancy stuff that way if something goes down we're able to still continue to go um, one of the things with where we are is we have to have all of our redundancies on us because we can't just go buy it we can't call a store and go get it or call a rental house and get it shipped out to us we have to have it right with us so we're carrying a lot of extra gear just for the sake of redundancy um, when it comes to our b camera and our stills cameras we have two different a7.3s uh, and then an a7r3 has been our main stills camera. We're using a variety of lenses uh, going from 16 to 35 up to 70 to 200 28 from Sony. Um, we've got a 24 to 105 f4 which has kind of lived on the a7r. Um, this is nice because if we have to bounce back and forth between stills and video on this, then we can, even though normally we're at really fast shutter speeds, if push came to shove, we could make it happen. Um, I'm pretty much always carrying this around no matter what. I love the Peak Design straps because they are a fantastic way to easily go on and off, which is helpful for like glide cam and things like that where I don't want the strap on the camera. Then we have on one of our A7 threes, we have the 24 to 70 28 with a BMW ND filter. Um, this is Sean's, and I'm absolutely in love with the BMW variable ND. Uh, I'd never used it before, but I really dig it. And then on here we have the Rode VideoMic Pro R, um, not the newest one, but it's still got the improved shock mount. Um, and then we've got Sean's iPhone XS. And then inside my backpack. This has been the super kit, as I like to call it, uh, for all of our lenses and stuff. So in here we've got our second a7 III with the 16 to 35 f4. Um, the reason we use the f4 is because it's just a lot smaller. Under that I've got a couple different filters. We've got a circular polarizer, a warming filter, and a UV filter. Again, just protecting gear as needed. Then whew, we've got 70 to 200 28 G master lens. Then we've got a broken on Cine DS set with 24, 35, and 85 millimeter lenses. Then we've got all sorts of batteries. Um, we have nine of the Z mount or the Z batteries for the Sony A7s. Um, just again, if something were to happen, we'd still be able to work for a lot of the time. We've also got three of the um, Sony batteries, which comes in really helpful. 
Uh, then also we have an A7S II, which is in our redundancy bag back at home base. Um, then for memory, we're using a mix of SanDisk, ProGrade, and Lexar memory cards. <laughs> Sorry about that, Sean just got attacked by a bee. Um, but we've got the mix of the Think Tank memory card wallets. I color code mine based off camera, so this is FF5 formatted cards and this is A7 formatted memory cards. Makes it easier just to go back and forth and know right where I gotta grab the right cards from. Um, and then in the top, I've got the audio kit from my kit. Um, we also have a backup video mic pro. Um, our audio kit again is the Sennheiser G3s. And then for our backup, I am using the Zoom F1 for recording the audio on this. And then we also have the shotgun attachment. Again, if we wanna record just audio of environment or things like that, or just for redundancy for a shotgun, we have this. Then we also have two more variable NDs. When it comes to small lighting, we've got these little Lytra bicolor lights that are super handy, super fantastic, and they got a really great CRI. Then for monitoring, I've got short in-ear monitors. And then for time-lapse, we're using these little JJC. They're a Chinese company, but intervalometers, they're tiny. They last forever. They're fantastic. Um, these are great with the A7s for static ones. Um, when I get into stabilizers, we'll talk about our slider, which also has control capabilities. Then we're going to jump over to Sean's bag. And what would normally be inside it is the Mavic Pro 2, which has been a workhorse for us getting our establishing shots and that kind of stuff. Um, love the camera on this. We've also got a backup 16 to 35. Um, and then we've got a 5518 at the headquarters again. And then we've got 90 macro, which has been great for some of the plant life and things like that. We're talking a lot about gardening with this trip. So lots of good plant shots with that. And then just in case we need to worry about water or sketchy places, GoPro Hero 5. Um, we've used it a couple times, not too much though. Um, but that's generally what's in Sean's bag. Uh, he's got a little bit lighter, more flexible kit, um, but we're working together out of the back of a truck, so it's easy to bounce between the two bags. Um, let me shimmy stuff around for a second. All right, so now when it comes to stabilizers, we've got three different tripods. We've got the Manfrotto Be Free Video. We've got the Mifoto Ball Head. And then we've got Rhino Slider, which is a fantastic slider. And then we've been doing some time lapse with that. And Sean's got the full controller set up and things like that. And then for camera motion on the ground, we're using the Devin Graham model of the uh, Glide Cam. Um, this is great because it doesn't need a battery. Uh, we lo I love gimbals, but it's hard when we're iffy on battery charging. Uh, we've run into some power issues here where we had power for the first few days and then we've kind of lost it. So I've actually been using a memory bank to charge batteries, uh, or a battery bank, I mean, USB to charge batteries inside our cameras. Um, so having the glide cam not require battery power is huge, um, just because it makes us be a little more flexible. And then for our bigger setup, we've got a Sure W2204, it's a carbon fiber tripod, but it's really small and light, so it's easy to pack down. And then uh, Manfrotto 500 head with a small little level ball. Um, this is our main thing. And then we've got a small rig clamp with a uh, mini ball head and magic arm, so we can get smaller cameras into tight places or if we need to do lighting and things like that. Uh, also back at our headquarters, or home base, we've got a couple Aperture F1s and the uh, uh, trying to think of the word, a lightweight light stand. So that way, if we have to do an interview at night, which we might have to do tonight, um, we're able to set up some stuff and kind of make it look a little bit better, a little higher production value. So that's our general kit for this project. Um, other than that, I don't know what to tell you. So I will see you guys next time. Have a great week. <laughs>